brain fog and dementia are two common conditions that both impact brain function, but how are they different from each other? And how do you know whether you have brain fog or dementia? Hi, I'm Dr. Patricia Shelton, lead medical communicator for Tahiro. And let's take a look at this article here on Tahiro's website about how brain fog and dementia are different from each other. So brain fog, first of all, is not technically a medical term. This is more of a popular culture, a colloquial term that people use to describe a wide variety of different cognitive symptoms. Trouble with concentration, trouble with memory, decreased mental clarity, feeling like thinking is slowed down, or you're kind of separated from your thoughts. Um, so people can mean any or all of these things when they say that they have brain fog, right? Almost any kind of cognitive symptom. And the thing about brain fog is that it's something temporary and it's related to some kind of an underlying cause. This can be a whole lot of different things. For example, stress causes the release of the hormone cortisol at high levels in the body and this interferes with brain function, um, a lack of sleep, not getting the right nutrients for the brain to function well, lots of different medical conditions, so certain medications can do it, antihistamines, antidepressants, sleep medications. Um, hormone imbalances, brain fog is super common during menopause or in people who have thyroid hormone problems, the imbalances, um, lots of different medical conditions, especially the ones that cause chronic inflammation throughout the body, which can have a big impact on brain function. And with brain fog, if you can figure out what the underlying cause is and address that, the brain fog will go away. And sometimes you're noticing it coming and going um, as whatever the underlying cause is, is changing. So for example, when you're more stressed, you might feel more brain fog than at times when you're more relaxed, it gets better, right? So brain fog feels temporary and it comes and goes and it's something that we can fix or address. Now, dementia is due to a degenerative process, right? The brain itself is actually degenerating. And because of that, the symptoms of dementia are progressive. So though early dementia can kind of look like brain fog, over time the symptoms will get worse, right? So we'll see that it's progressing, we'll see that the symptoms become more severe. And the really clear differentiator between brain fog and dementia is that people with brain fog can generally still function in their daily life, right? They might not be optimal performance, but they're still doing well enough that they can manage their lives, they can live independently. Dementia takes that away from people. So people with dementia will eventually become unable to kind of manage even the basic activities of daily living, um, and they're no longer able to live on their own. So if you're wanting to avoid brain fog, it turns out that the same things that protect against brain fog also reduce your risk of dementia. What's good for the brain is good for the brain. Um, so there's a lot that you can do to help support both your short-term and your long-term brain function, right? So protect against brain fog and reduce dementia risk. Um, getting enough sleep is a huge one. Always, always prioritizing seven to nine hours of good solid sleep every night. Basically nothing is important enough to skip out on that. Um, reducing stress as much as you can. That can be getting stressful situations out of your life if you're able to, not taking on too much. Um, maybe stress reduction techniques like meditation or yoga. These are helpful for some people. Sometimes stress relieving herbs, things that kind of help the body cope with stress, body and brain cope with stress can be helpful for some people. Um, so dealing with stress, making sure you get enough physical exercise. Every day we're aiming for about 30-ish minutes of physical activity, crucial for every aspect of your health. Uh, making sure you're getting a nice variety of nutritious foods, especially fruits, vegetables, whole grains, so you're getting lots of good vitamins and minerals. And then also making sure you're getting enough healthy fats, especially those unsaturated fats like omega-3s, omega-5s. Um, these help to support brain function and can reduce the risk of dementia as well. Um, and then making sure that you're challenging your brain. So maybe you do puzzles, maybe you play a game like chess, maybe you learn a new language, a new instrument, a new type of dance, right? Anything new that the brain is learning or problems that it's solving, um, these are giving the brain lots of good activity and that really helps to protect both your short-term and your long-term brain function. So if you have any questions, please feel free to email us at knowledge at and as always, we're wishing you great brain health.